family. This is probably the third uh, story I've came across where there was an arrest made of a student in school because of something that they posted on Snapchat. So this is the newest one. Surprise, surprise, it's in Florida again. Um, and just check this out. Developing at noon, police are investigating another school threat made on social media. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margol is live in Coral Springs with new information on where that threat actually came from. Ian. So the good news here is that things are back to normal because as it turns out, the threat was not even directed at Coral Springs Middle School as so many people thought, but it caused a lot of stress for parents this morning. Take a look. This is that threat. It was on Snapchat. It is a picture of what appears to be a person wearing a mask and glasses holding a long gun of some sort and underneath him it says CSMS be careful. Now Sky 10 was overhead this morning where Coral Springs police had placed extra security on campus just out of an abundance of caution. The school district told us there was never a lockdown though and the school was going to continue as normal today. Principal Sarah La Rosa sent out parents an email this morning saying in part quote we are working closely with the Coral Springs Police Department special investigative unit and as a result you will see additional police presence just as a precautionary measure throughout the day. Please know we will continue to work diligently to ensure the safety and security of our students, staff and community at all times. Back out live here in Coral Springs. Here is what we have learned. According to Coral Springs Police, this threat was actually targeted at Citrus Springs Middle School, which is up in Central Florida. And we have spoken to the Citrus Sheriff's Office. They say Citrus County Sheriff's Office. They say they have made an arrest on this case. A 16 year old high school student from their area has been arrested. There is no threat to their area. There is no threat to Coral Springs Middle School or any Broward County schools at this time. We are live in Coral Springs, Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Okay, this is my thing with all of these cases, right? I don't understand how they're acting like they don't know where the threat came from. If they have a Snapchat photograph that was clearly uh, taken from somebody's Snapchat. So that would be who posted it. But more importantly, how do these people gain access to all of these Snapchat posts? I'm 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 really confused because if you're able to access I mean you have to add somebody as a friend for them to even see your snaps that tells you who looks at them so that being said it should be really easy if somebody makes a post like this for police of all people to figure out exactly where it came from even with the new feature on snapchat where you know it sh could show like if you zoom out on the map part it will you know give you various posts of people in the area you still know the location where it came from so i'm really confused as to how they're confused where these posts come from and how they are gaining access to all of these social media seems like snapchat is not as secure as they might want us to believe.